Hope just kissed Thomas, and Liam just saw it. He just saw it, and that's where they ended the episode. Look, they kept going back to Ridge and uh, Brooke, and I said, nobody want to see them right now. I want to see if this is an imagination, a dream, a fantasy, or if it's the real thing. I said, nobody want to see. We already know. He's my ooh. He going to peek through the hole. <laughs> Ridge peeked through the hole and seen Brooke. I knew he was going to see Brooke. I knew it. But yeah, hey y'all, welcome back to another review with Life at Chess. It is for the Bold and Beautiful June 22nd, 2023. Okay, so the episode continues where it left off yesterday. Hoping Tom is still being watched as the, uh, you know, the press conference they was having. Um, they still being watched. Brooke keep making faces and everything. Steffi actually told Hope that uh, she gonna back off and everything. And I said, yeah, they would have. They would throw that scene in there. They would throw that scene in there right when she kisses this man. But yeah, Hope and Tom are still being watched. Liam still hasn't made it yet. He's still on the jet with Bill and Bill reassuring him um, about Hope and everything. Just saying, oh, you know, she knows you're there for her and she knows you care and all this other stuff. The press started asking questions about Brooke and Ridge. Talking, taking the focus away from the whole collection. I said, it ain't about them. It's about the Hope for the, the Future collection. So I said, uh, do that mean y'all back together and all this other stuff? Uh, Ridge was kind of just closed off and trying to steer away from it but you know brooke, brooke was over here like just hyping it up and saying like she was just so hopeful and everything and she keep talking about ridge just lost his passion and all this other stuff and i was like man why is it i'm gonna say it again everybody's so focused on ridge and his feelings and he's hurt because they chose themselves how you gonna be hurt and you the one divorce her he don't want to jump though and divorce her and technically didn't he sleep with taylor before he divorced her you know i don't know but um Ridge tells Ruth that they had to stop hurting each other because, you know, she's still trying to get him to give them a chance and everything. Brooke agrees and says they can't let the fire go out, though. Liam finally makes it to Rome. Steffi tells Hope how much of a good job she just did with the whole collection and everything, working with Thomas. Hope wants Steffi and her to be friends. She was like, um, our moms may not be friends anymore, but that doesn't, that doesn't mean we... Look, I told y'all, it's either the... At first, it used to be the extended family. We all extended family. We should put aside our differences. They say that every year. And then they say, you know, they be bad beefing over the same man. The same man. So, I'm like, okay, are they doing all this just to put Liam and Steffi back together or what? But, yeah, Steffi tells her how she did a good job. Hope wants them to be friends again. Steffi basically says she's going to back off. She's going to trust that Hope has it under control, like she said. And that's how they're going to mess up. I said that's how they're going to mess up. No, that part where uh, Thomas came up to her. It was like, we done with the uh, preview and all this other stuff. Let's go explore and all that. I said, that's where they're going to mess up at. If you're done with business... You done with business, and that means stay away from each other. <laughs> that means stay away from each other. Um, I said, go back to y'all corners. Thomas asked Hope what she want to do now and everything. She told me, go for a walk. And I said, here it come. I said, here it come. Brooke tells Carter that she's worried about Ridge and everything because he lost his passion. And he just, the way he's acting, he keep acting like he's sad. And, and he don't want to, he, he not calling her his Logan, basically. But Leon ends up running into Steffi, and he asked where Hope, he asked, did he miss everything? And she was like, yeah, she did a good job. And she, she tells Leon that she was wrong to question Hope. Um, she was wrong and everything. And he just smiling and stuff. I said, you fool. <laughs> Brooke got lost again. Uh, she had the phone. I said, they did that whole little scene about her getting lost just so he could peek through there and see, see her and them talk about destiny and all this stuff. I said, oh, man, look. <laughs> Leon left to find Hope. He running all over town, all over the country and stuff, looking for this girl. Looking for her. He ends up seeing her. He sees her, but they far away. They far away or whatever. He just stood, stood there and watched. He seen them up close to each other and everything. He didn't. He started and yell and say something, but he didn't. He just stood there and watched. Thomas tells Hope she, uh, she impressed him today and everything. He was like the sightseeing, everything he did with the... Um, the place that they was at is beautiful. And he's like, so are you. He slid that in there real smooth, real smooth, real smooth. So are you. And she just smiled. And I said, look here, Thomas. Let me find out people was right. You was pretending. You was pretending. You started to notice. That's why he ain't said nothing. Every time they asked him, had Hope done anything to show that she was interested or shows that there's going to be a problem or whatever. And he had changed the subject or whatever. I said, okay, Thomas, let me find out. But. Leon sees Hope and Thomas together. Hope kisses Thomas. She just kisses. At first, uh, Thomas had his hands up like, you know, what are you doing and all that stuff. But then he continued on. They kissing each other. They slobbing each other. Damn. No. For real. They is kissing. Look, she is into their kiss. <laughs> oh, my goodness. They kissing this stuff. And um, 
Liam just looking all like his heart just just got grabbed out his chest and stuff. I said, mm, mm, mm. I wonder is he gonna go confront them, or is he gonna walk away? I wonder is is, is Thomas gonna pull away from her? I said it's too late now. He don't saw both of y'all into it. But then again, this is Liam. He'll be like he'll be like Thomas, 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 Thomas. Even after he seen Hope be the one to initiate the kiss. But yeah, I wonder if he gonna go confront it. But they did, like I said, they had a picture of him. He was outside with Steffi, and he was mad. You could tell, or whatever. I so I wonder if he just gonna walk away or what. And I wonder how far this is gonna go if he does choose to walk away. Like if Thomas gonna, is Thomas gonna stop him, stop hope, and say, you know, you can't do this, you can't ruin your marriage or what. Like we, well, yeah, I'm like ooh we. But yeah, y'all let me know down below what y'all thought of this episode. Stay tuned for more videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, deuces. Have a great rest of the day and be safe.